Now moving on, human rights lawyer Femi Falono has said the federal government and the Department of State Services are not ready for the trial of his client, Omoyele Showare. Falono said the federal government kept Showare in detention because it was not prepared to try the convener of the Revolution Now movement. Falono also alleged that the federal government wanted Showare to sign his own death warrant, urging Nigerians not to believe the version of the government's narrative on what happened in the premises of the Federal High Court Abuja last Friday. Falona Wai giving a keynote address at the Walesha Inca 14th award held in Lagos on Monday further clarified what transpired at the court's premises. I would like to urge all of us, particularly journalists, not to peddle rumors and official lies. A child can tell a lie, and I remember when growing up, Telling a lie was very serious. But for a government to lie is a serious matter, and we must take it up. Two of your colleagues in government, Malam Garbashev and a pastor, Femi Adeshina, issued some statements in the last 24 hours insulting our collective intelligence. I do hope that by tomorrow, both of them will have to apologize to the Nigerian people. I say this because this afternoon, and you can quote me on this, this afternoon, the SS management sent a delegation to the Federal High Court in Abuja to apologize officially over the invasion, criminal invasion of the court on Friday. I did disclose yesterday that after the armed invasion of the court, the judge involved summoned the prosecutor and myself to our chambers where she expressed an indignation over what was a sacrilegious attack on our court. Both the lawyer to the SSS and the lead SSS officer in the court premises apologized profusely. I was therefore flabbergasted and even embarrassed when one guy that claims to be a journalist address the press on behalf of uh, the SSS and claim that the SSS was not in court. We have the photographs. I know the names of not less than five of them at the right time which I exposed them. But the most painful aspect is where some journalists are asking me, is it true? that she arrest friends, attack me, and they wanted to kill him. And I asked them to take it back. Because assuming without conceding that she arrest friends, state manage the attack, what is the duty of law enforcement officers? He's to save she from his friend and arrest those friends that wanted to kill him. More so, that the government wanted to arrest Shore. So were you planning to arrest a dead body?